Hi gang, Rob here. It's the afternoon of 29 May 2020. Coming on today to give you guys a sad story. <clears throat> yeah. To my knowledge, this is the first and only time this has ever happened to me during one of our Thursday night knife sales. But, and maybe some of you guys picked this up and <clears throat> didn't say anything. I actually had one viewer who did. Um, but I was sort of in the fog of war and didn't pay much attention to his comment. But thank you, Brian, for giving me a heads up when the <laughs> when the email came for when the email came this morning from the buyer. But we ran last night a green handled stonewashed blade microtech stitch that had some mechanical issues. So it, we sold it kind of cheap. If it had been a real Microtech, but alas, it was not. <clears throat> My buyer emailed me late morning today because I, I guess something indicated maybe to him that it wasn't right. And uh, sure enough, he found pictures from multiple Chinese knife purveyors on the internet um, that showed pictures of this exact knife. And believe it or not, all the stock photos from the retailers had the same serial number, and so did the knife in my sale last night. So, um, yeah, got me. The sad thing is, whoever sold it to my seller uh, got him. Uh, thankfully, though, my buyer was patient, and my seller was quite forthcoming when I laid out the scenario to him. So... Uh, all money has been refunded uh, to my buyer uh, with the cooperation of my seller. I had told the buyer, though, after reviewing his photos, that if I had any issue with my seller, I would refund that money personally for his purchase. Because um, it was kind of a cut and dried case, definitely a clone. So beware. Uh, you know, I see a lot of knives. I'm kind of like... A treasury agent when it comes to knives I know a counterfeit usually because I handle so many genuine articles but uh, appearance wise this knife looked like a microtech although the clip was a little shady I gotta say and it had that sticky button action uh, and sometimes wouldn't lock open or closed and I noticed as I was messing with it before the sale the spring tension as it opened full to stop didn't quite seem as strong as a Microtech. Um, yeah. So no harm, no foul on my end, but uh, my consigner, Michael, is, you know, out 300 plus dollars. The Chinese knife sells for $51 online brand new. <clears throat> so that's that. But all's well that ends well. I hope Michael has some recourse if he if he's looking for any. Um, by the way, we have just one one knife left from last night's sale, so I'm not going to do a a price drop video tomorrow. But <clears throat> if you're uh, if you're interested in that Addo Adder Attleboro Straight, easy for you to say. That fixed blade and S35VN with the black canvas milled handles. If you're interested in that, send me an offer. I'll work with the seller to make that happen for you. Um, yeah. 72 degrees and bright sunshine in northeast Indiana today. Couldn't be any nicer. It's good to be alive. I think that's about all for this one. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember... The word is sharp. Have a great weekend.